Okay, let's take a moment and talk about line numbering. So here I have a basic uh, document. It's five pages. <clears throat> and I have put a section break here at page three, so keep that in mind. I've used the next page section break, something to show it to you, there it is, uh, to force the information onto the next page and of course create a new section. So we have two sections which will affect our line numbering options, but let's go through all the different line numbering options that we have in Word. So first of all, how you would add line numbering to your document is you can go to the page layout tab along the ribbon and click the line numbers button. And let's start first with continuous. So if I choose continuous, it's now numbered each line going down. And if I scroll down through the document, there's the end of section, the first section, so that's 99. It automatically does not start numbering the next section. If I wanted to do that, I could have highlighted the whole document at the start or I just need to click into this next section and then choose an option that I want to use. So if I pick continuous here, you see it's continued from the previous section here and done my, done my line numbering. Now, other options that we can set. First of all, is if I wanted to individually number lines per page, that can be done. And what you all, all, all you need to do is click the line number button and choose restart on each page. Now, obviously page one hasn't renumbered, but if I go to page two, you can see it's renumbered the lines there. Page three, it's also renumbered the lines. Let's go look at the next page. So on the next page, remember, that's the start of a next section. It is still continuing from the previous section. So always keep that in mind. So <clears throat> when you're setting your line numbering options, you're gonna be setting it individually per section. Unless, of course, you do highlight the document ahead of time. Let's talk about some other options. So back on the first page here, going to set this back to continuous for a minute. Okay, so when I'm back on continuous, let's say I wanted to number every other line. So not every single line, but every other line. Well, if you click the line numbers button, you don't have the option there. But I do have an option here that says line numbering options. If I pull this up, it pops up basically my page setup dialog box. You can see it there. And then on the layout tab, I have a line numbers button. If you click the line numbers button, you can choose some attributes. So number one, you can choose what number you want to start at. I'm going to leave that at one for now. From text is the distance that the number will be from the text. So auto is an automatic setting. It goes, I believe, quarter inch. You can also change that to whatever you would want. And then you have count by. So let's say I wanted to change that to count by two. You also have the options here we saw previously to restart on each page or restart each section or continuous, which is what I have it set to. So I'm gonna click OK, OK one more time, and you can see that it now numbers only every second line. I can change that to every third line, fourth line, whatever options you would want. And that again is going to be set per section. Remember that, because you see as soon as I get down to my next section on page four here, it's still remembering my previous settings. One last setting to leave you with, let's say that this paragraph here was indented a bit. Let's say it was some sort of a quote, piece of text, whatever column you'd want. And you actually don't want to number the lines there. I don't want to see the line numbers next to this. Well, you can change that setting too. You simply click into the paragraph, click the line numbers button, and say suppress for current paragraph. Keeping in mind, you would need to be selected in that paragraph or your cursor needs to be placed in that paragraph. And it will turn off the line numbering, as you can see here. It does not just suppress the numbers. So it will, it's not counting these lines anymore, what I mean. So we have eight here. If I go down to the next one, it goes nine. So it's not counting this and then just continuing on when you've activated them. It simply suppresses it from that line numbering option.